In this video we're going to be converting the main menu. We'll be clearing the body markup, we'll be implementing the menu wrapper and the menu items markup. So on our desktop we have the static version of the web page. So let's go ahead and load it inside of Sublime. And let's have a look at the index. So basically, as we open the page with Google Chrome, for example, we see that we're going to be implementing this area here. That means that we would have to implement inside of the body a wrapper called layout container and then we're going to start with the nav tag which will contain both our logo and our nav bar link. Great! So in order to do that let's go ahead and open our web shop project so let's check it in the browser first and basically there is part that kind of looks already like the main menu but is not really the main menu let's go ahead first and load also our Drupal T markup inside of Sublime if we have them both so I'll go ahead and add it here that's great so here we have the static version and here we have our team actually so let's go ahead and check from where our markup is coming so if we start inspecting we would see that there is already a nav tag here but before it there is a region template that is giving a div and before that it's the page template and some additional ones okay great so what is a good practice is to start overwriting our templates from here from the HTML let's go ahead first and override the HTML template then go ahead and override the page HTML and then as we have it clean we'll continue to implement exactly the markup that we want so as we go to our Drupal instance, as we go to core and teams and stable, uh, there is the layout here. We have here both the HTML and the page templates. So as we copy them and we go to our team and templates and we paste them we actually already have them wonderful and the next thing we want to do is we want to go and so let's open the static version and the page at the same time um, inside of our static version it actually starts with layout container class layout container it's exactly the same here and the next thing we want to do is we want to implement the navigation and basically the primary menu comes from this bit here so but there's also a page header 
the page header we actually don't need so layout container starts from here and the header uh, and the page header actually it's a region and here we actually have yeah a menu uh, we'll get rid of this region uh, this region actually for now so we will leave first the primary menu and it was going to be so the primary menu is a region that would ultimately contain the primary menu and the secondary menu we don't need because in our template we don't have a secondary menu Bread, breadcrumbs we can leave for now page help we don't need and uh, here this bit main content would actually remove it for now we can just leave page content here like this and sidebars we don't need for our example sidebar second we don't need this stuff and the footer we actually have a footer we will deal with that a bit later but let's first go ahead and save it and see how it looks like now yes it, it looks a bit more organized here we have something like main menu and this bit is actually the primary menu so inside of Drupal if we go to structure and block layout basically we see that our primary menu here appears with main navigation so the primary menu region has the main navigation but in our static version we actually have also the logo there so let's go ahead and move the logo the site branding here so that in primary menu actually have the site branding and the main navigation so we go ahead and save the blocks and as we refresh we would have also here the the bit that is supposed to show the the logo of our web page we'll take care of that a bit later so that looks good let's go ahead and check from where actually the markup of this navigation comes from uh, the first thing we don't want is we don't want this region div here we would use we would put a wrapper here around the no, we would actually use this version region primary menu and we will add the wrapper that will wrap these two blocks so we see that we have it under core team stable template layout region HTML tweak so let's go there let's actually open it in another tab so that it 
would happen a bit faster teams stable template and then we have layout and region we copy it to our template to our team and we would actually use this version so we copy this suggestion and we rename our region great and the next thing we want to do here is we actually want to have this div so this div would be basically our nav tag and this nav tag contains both the logo and the nav links so uh, basically these two tags would we'll just go ahead and paste here great and also they're closing buddies would have here move a bit and that's that's good already and basically as we save now we'd have to clear the cache so we would go to configuration performance and clear all caches great that's great it looks a bit broken but uh, that's fine for now and let's continue basically our branding block should only have the uh, the logo it actually appears a bit different but would override it would go to core teams table templates block block system branding block and we will override it so here we already have the uh, the core stable team opened so if we go to block and if we go to block system branding block uh, let's copy it in our template in our team and we clear the cache the next thing we want to do is nudge this body a bit so in the static version we only have a link that has the id logo container and class brand logo and would basically do exactly the same that's fine that's fine so basically have exactly the same thing here and we would need to have a ID and class brand logo and the href should be this one here yeah so it already looks better 
yeah it start uh, it starts to to come in place so what we see from here is that it's coming from the block HTML tweak and what we can do is we can also override the block HTML tweak in our team and we can say that Um, we don't want this bit here which is a wrapper and we also don't don't need block title But let's leave it. If the title is enabled, it's okay to to show it. We can hide this setting from the block configuration. So if we order it a bit and we clear the cache again, this would look a bit better. So yeah, the the logo appears alone. It's uh, after the nav wrapper, which is fine. There is a contextual link here, which would not appear if you're not logged in. So that doesn't bother us. And the next thing we want to do is we want to edit the system menu. So we can do that by simply by copying this block system menu block so block system menu block we copy this template and we paste it and block system menu block uh, here actually we don't need a nav wrapper because we have the nav wrapper around the whole menu uh, I would say we don't need this bit here uh, title prefix and uh, yeah so let's take a look after we clear the cache again how how would it look like so it, uh, we we got rid of the h2 here and we we would yes it starts to to look better this is our menu starting from here but in order to overwrite it we would have to overwrite the menu html tweak uh, let's let's go ahead and compare again with the so the page we can close for now so we have this bit here already done and we have this one starting but actually the classes are not correct so it's not appearing uh, floated correctly and we would want to have the same version but with uh, a nav mobile class which would appear only in the mobile version so uh, let's go ahead and continue with so basically we have the ul here but would have to make it two times and we would have to 
apply some classes to it in order to to look as it look here as you see the home already looks like here the logo the bit is that is not styled for now is the actual menu so let's go ahead and copy this file and we will rename it to menu main so we go to stable template templates navigation menu so here we are in the core templates table and if we go to navigation and then menu as we copy it let's go ahead and create a folder in our team call it navigation we're free to create all kinds of folder folder structure inside of our custom team so let's go ahead and rename our menu template file with the suggestion that we have for the main menu so that it overrides just this main menu and as we go to our code editor we we would want to actually have it two times I'm not sure if we could have this two times here let's try if that would work so as we have it let's have it one more time we would add a tweak comment that this is the uh, mobile version and uh, with attributes uh, let me show you a trick uh, basically with attributes we have in Drupal 8 the possibility to add classes so we can go ahead and say add class and we can type a class here so in our static version we we actually have these classes so if we say add, add class right sorry if we say add class right and add class height this should basically add those classes and uh, our li's they should be as simple as they look here they have some attributes but yeah it should be fine and uh, in our mobile version we we'll have to be able to add class and say sorry uh, class nav Uh, sorry, site nav add the class and then I guess there is add attribute I'm not sure if that would work. Well, we have the main menu here. And yes, as you see, our site nav is added. So what we actually need is we want to add uh, with a site nav 
but is it appearing two times let's go ahead and check we have the ul just once uh, okay just the second version yeah one of the versions is not appearing okay so I would say let's go ahead and have this bit here like this import self as menu that that bit we have here at the top and I would just add a uh, tweak comment mobile menu starts attribute attributes add class and then right and then add class again that looks right to me let's go ahead and refresh clear the cache and refresh the page yes now it looks good so we have the ul two times uh, what we don't have is we don't have the actual ID I think it sh it would be essential to have the ID uh, let's go ahead and search for Drupal attributes at ID uh, I'm pretty sure there is a add attribute so add class this is the one that we just used and remove attribute yes so yes of course it's uh, I also thought it's logical so let's go ahead and change it with add attribute it's not super logical because it's attributes yeah let's let's go ahead and do do it as as it as it is logical so basically this one doesn't have a ID so it's already done but the second one has a ID enough mobile so we could add it to the bottom one we say add add attribute and we say ID and we say the actual ID attribute add attribute let's go ahead and check is there ah it's set attribute I'm sorry I'm sorry it's uh, it's add class but it's set attribute it's a bit confusing but uh, yeah it's great anyway so sometimes uh, one just have to go ahead and check uh, the documentation on drupal.org and uh, yeah in order to find the right way so it looks much better now as we see we have once the UL with the classes and we have once the UL with the classes for the mobile version and the nav mobile. Last touch would be uh, to add our menu toggler. So it would be right under the two ULs as we go here under the second ul 
and we add the toggler and we save and also inside of our page template there is a there is a left uh, main closing tag that we want to get rid of and actually if we're not locked in if we go to incognito modus uh, we see that now our main menu is implemented if we had a logo here it would appear and if we had uh, more links here we can actually go ahead and add one more link at least let's go ahead and uh, add a menu link in our main navigation and say we want a menu link to uh, to our test article create article and as we save it uh, this actual link would appear yes it would be a bit nicer if our home button appears first so let's go ahead quickly and rearrange those and as we save basically our main navigation is ready wonderful if you like this video please check the links into the description and subscribe and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below thank you